Hey everyone, it's Joe and Matt from Bullion Now, bullionnow.com.au, selling you the best bullion bars and coins shipped to you worldwide from Melbourne in Australia. Matt, what are we doing, mate? We're doing something that's not quite bullion, but it's often featured in our videos. So there have been a couple of requests to see what's in the cabinet behind mm. Michael and Matt and Joe. And all right, here we are. And this is uh, your wheelhouse. For you could sure. say that it yep. certainly is. So mm. we'll have a little bit of a look. This is what we refer to as some of the more numismatic coins. Yep. These are the modern coins. All of these are from the Perth Mint and they are offered to you by our sister company, Little Coin Shop. Littlecoinshop.com.au. So just to give Beautiful. you a, a quick bit of an overview, this here is a PNC, which stands for Philatelic Numismatic Cover. What which does is that mean? A very fancy way of saying a stamp and coin in an envelope. That's cool. Yeah, All so right. Australia Post produce a number of these throughout the year yep. with various themes. Yep. And yeah, these are ones that have been offered by the Perth Mint. So we have those in stock for something a little different. There's no precious metal content. It is a like a copper nickel coin oh, yeah, okay. in there. Yep. Um, but yeah, obviously, cute little quokka, and we've Absolutely. got the dreaming down under down here. Very cool. They also do some slightly different coins. If you still, it's still technically a coin, but you've got these down here, the lunar themed rotating charm coins. Rotating charm. That's what, right. what is that all about? So it's an antique coin, and mm. the central item is an animal. So you've got the yeah, uh, mouse or the rat yep. and the ox there. Oh. So that that center piece actually spins around. That is so cool. Now, from uh, quickly from a numismatic perspective. Yeah. If I said to you, is this sacrilege if I said to you, oh, can you show me that, how that works, that spinny thing works? No, not at all. No? It, it okay. comes down to personal preference. I'll, okay. I'll pop a glove on for it. In, okay. in, in my personal collection, it's something that I, uh, as Michael mentioned in the video he did once upon a time, maybe you can do a link above, yep. where he, he handles his collection. Yes. Um, but so for, for this example here. But you're gloved. So I am, I'm gloved, so I'm, I'm well protected. So I'll take it out here. <laughs> Uh, if we can get it out there and it spins around. That's so cool. Like so. Oh, wow. Yeah, so you've got... Oh, look at that. Yeah. That is wicked. I love that. Something a little different. Now, here's me as, you know, pure, used to be, you know, pure bullion guy. Yeah. But you do see these things and go, that's just cool. Well, that's it. And the Perth Mint are, so are sort of starting to develop a bit of a reputation right. with some of their minting methods. Okay. Uh, they are getting into the slightly less conventional side of things. Uh, mm -hmm. Another great example is the uh, James Bond, the 007 okay. series they've done here. These are all five gram silver foil. Silver uh, yeah, foil? Yeah, silver foils. I'll, so, I'll look at this one, I'm trying to get uh, not me in the reflection here. So we'll look Yeah, at they are one. very reflective, so you <laughs> might struggle there. Uh, just the, the glass itself. So this, so what, it's silver foil? Yeah, that's okay. right, five grams. So, so it's been obviously flattened out and they've applied the, wow. uh, the can we poster see the, image. Can we see the other side? Yeah, we certainly can. If I'm not mistaken, we should see five gram, 999 silver. So literally, we're looking at 999 pure, five grams of pure silver. Yeah. And it's just sort of, it's like gold leaf, but then rolled out and... Absolutely. Wow. That's right. So, you know, if you've got a, if you've got a man cave or <laughs> something like that, or, you know, just a, a place where the, you like to do, display your film memorabilia. Uh, Skyfall, I think one of the best of the newest movies, personally. No Time to Die, which has yet, well, has it come out Is yet? that the one that's been I think postponed? it's been, oh, I think so, because yeah, you know yeah. what. Okay. All right. Uh, moving on. Another interesting minting technique, mm -hmm. something a little different, is the antiqued coins. Oh, okay. So this is a finish where, once again, if you are so inclined, you can handle these with your bare hands okay. with minimal impact oh, to the finish. Oh, that's the uh, Series 3 mouse. Yeah. So oh, you've got, we've got both the mouse and the ox there. Yep. Um, so the difference, uh, oh. a question I noticed in the live stream, which mm -hmm. I forgot to acknowledge was the difference between a bullion and a proof coin. Okay. So a bullion coin is struck, they sometimes referred to as a business strike. Okay. So it's just to get, get the, get the job done and push out as much as you can. So yeah. it's struck once and off it goes um, into your stack. Yep. Whereas a proof coin is struck generally multiple times, three or four times at a, sometimes at a higher pressure. And they also polish the blanks also known as the planchet, which okay. is just the, the round disc of metal. Yep. So that gets a, a polishing as well as the die, which is used to strike 
the design into the coin, wow. which is why you get that sort of mirror type finish yep. on a proof coin. Yep. Um, so that is that main difference for okay. you. Okay, that is so cool. And you know, um, that's why it's, there's so much more time and care and you know, multiple strikings and things like that and artwork and all that. And that's why you, of course, with the numismatic stuff, and the proofs and all that, you are seeing those higher uh, prices. But as we, all, as we always say with the numismatics, you can treat almost each one like a, a mini lottery ticket. Absolutely, and you know it's just something a little bit different. And you so. buy what you buy what you like sometimes, not just for your, yeah. not just for your, your silver content, silver content. You know, Absolutely, if you like this coin because you like the theme or you like the whatever. And that's it. And you, you know, following on with the uh, unique minting uh, methods, this yep. one they refer to as a quadrant. Okay. Uh, so you've got four different. I believe each component to that is a one ounce piece oh, of wow. silver. Okay. So. Once again, something a little bit different. Yep. Um, very much, you know, I would view that as a display piece. Okay. Something that if I had, you know, a nifty home office or something, yep. I'd put up. Um, this here is a gilded yes. ox. Gold. So gilded. they've got uh, gold gilding. Oh, this one, where, where, uh, this right one there. here. Yes, the ox, <clears throat> yep. There we go. I'm in the right spot now. Yep. Fantastic. Yes, you can see the gold gilding. A little bit hard to pick up with this particular... Uh, yeah, you lighting, might struggle on the black background. Yep, that's right. Uh, then you've got the... If we pulled that out, if you're allowed yeah, to, if you, would, if you would be uh, I will, willing to. I'll glove up and we'll have a look. All right, we'll see that on the... Um... Okay. All right. So... I can see that much. No, yep, there we go. Oh, yeah, beautiful. Beautiful, so gold gilding. Okay. That's and we were talking about gold content in that. That gilding, what are we talking? It's just a Absolutely very minor... Absolutely. Yeah, in, yeah, an insignificant right. gold component to okay. these. Sure. So it is purely for the aesthetic, yep. which I, I think is quite nice. It mm. st stands out very well. Absolutely. Um, you've then got... They've really, really refined their coloured minting. Okay. So I'm not sure if that will come up well for you, but a lot of the Perth Mint's coloured coins are just beautiful. Yeah, you can see that there. They do a really good job. Absolutely. Oh, that's, there we go, right there. Look at that. Yeah, so this is a set. This is a colour yeah, so set. Yes, it's a so trio. So they are the three uh, different like... types. So you've got the, the standard proof, the yep. coloured, followed by the gilded. That is on very the cool. There. Very cool indeed. And, you know, these come with limited mintages and things like that. Because that's right. Bullion, a lot of, not all bullion, but a lot of bullion is just mass produced, get it out as quickly as possible, yep. no, no mintages, but these come with your certificates. And that, that is the difference. People will often comment on things like the kangaroo, the Perth Mint kangaroo, the yep. fact that it does not come with a capsule. Yep. And they'll say, oh, what, what's the story there? But you'll also find that that's our generally our cheapest offering of one ounce silver. Cool. Buzz yeah. is gone, but we'll get to that in a oh, moment. That's all right, we'll get there. Um, yeah, you've then got some really interesting licensed products. Like yep. this is the Simpsons range, particularly the Duff beer, I think is something oh, a, yes. a little bit different, a little bit nice. Can't get enough <laughs> of that wonderful Duff. Yeah, the Simpsons coins were, have been very popular. They've been a range that I've been aware of uh, recently over the last few years. The two standouts in that were the donut and the family coin they yes, did. Yes, the family coin. Yeah, the donut was really cool. Yeah. Uh, even this one here, actually, this is this is the half. The, yeah, the half ounce. Yeah, and this is one of the ones that came carded. But yes. not, not all of them came carded. See, I do know a yeah, little what bit. What are you talking about, Joe? Ah, oh, Matt, walk me through this stuff. You know, you know, I know what's going on. I just on. remember this one was some of them, like a limited amount, I think it was like a thousand or something, were carded and they're also, you know, a little bit higher price point. Yep. Very cool. Yeah, and that's the great thing about all that you have got all the licenses, your Simpsons, your Star Trek, so you like any, almost any big major thing you can think of. Absolutely, and for a lot of people it serves it serves a, a function as a gift, you know, yes. if you've got someone that's right into Star Trek or something like that, yes. you've got these coins which are a little bit different again. And, um, I, and I can actually say, uh, I'm proud to say I was part of, a very small part of making the decision on the design of the 2015 Back to the Future one ounce silver coin in the DeLorean and really? that whole thing, yes. I was Gee. part of the, I knew the people, I was working for a company that sort of has something to do with it and... Gee, this is looked, a conversation for a later date, we looked at I need all, to learn more. We looked at all the designs and we all came up with our own little opinion. And I have a I have a couple of those Back to the Future coins myself. Yeah, that was a great series. Actually, I was buying those when I was still working for right. Australia Post. That was early on in the piece for me. Uh -huh. um, you've also got um, significant events like weddings, yep. uh, newborn baby. Right. So, you know, you can commemorate different events 
with a coin sometimes it's a little more uh, it's a little bit out there for some people you know if you yeah. if you're not expecting it it can be nice to get something unconventional Absolutely. as a memento for something like that yeah that's really cool uh anything else yeah we'll just well, I'll just quickly blast through the rest for you here, okay. since, since we've come this far. Okay. Um, you've got a couple of small quarter ounce gold coins here. Okay. Uh, for various events, you know, you've got the Looney Tunes, another licensed yep. item. Yep. You've got the iconic wedge-tailed eagle. Of course. The citizenship dollar, which is always very popular. Oh, absolutely. Yep. That's a great gift. Yeah. For if you know anyone that's um, uh, becoming an Australian citizen. Absolutely. Very cool. And the small, I believe that's a half gram gold, Kangaroo. Oh, look at Again, that. yeah, you pay a bit of a premium for it, but it is can, something can a little that, bit different. Can we pull that one out if you don't? I certainly mind. can. Uh, just get a little closer look. Yeah, look at that. Yeah. That's tiny. That's a great little gift, though. You know, to get someone, you're not spending, outlaying a whole bunch of money, uh, and you're getting someone into sort of precious metals yeah. for the first time. Very cool. Opening up the floodgates, perhaps. Yes. Alrighty, so there's that one. Then you've got, again, with the interesting minting technology, they've done a surfboard two ounce silver oh, coin. What? That's so cool. Yeah. That actually reminds me of, and I'm going I'm to take and tell it back. me you're also a professional back, surfer. No, no, back to the Back to the Future thing where at the same time they brought out a two ounce silver hoverboard. Hell, I got that in my stack. Yes. Don't you worry. Yeah. With so, the magnetic base. Yeah, with the magnetic Very base. Very cool. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, so that, that's about it. Then you've just got Hot Wheels, end of World War II, and an emoji coin for the, for the Zoomers, maybe. <laughs> for the Zoomers. So basically a, uh, a treasure trove of goodies. Um, yeah. I really appreciate you us, uh, showing us that. That's very nice of you. Um, what else do they need to know? Anything particular? I mean, all the... No, all the well. Well, should they go? Should they call us, or should they go to Little Coin Shop? Yeah, you can go to littlecoinshop.com.au, perhaps. Yep. I think that's the the URL that'll be in the description of the video. Yep. And if you ever want to just discuss this kind of thing, I'm I'm always in the shop. I'm always happy to have a chat yep. about your numismatic needs. Yep. And yeah, I love it. It's a lot of fun. Excellent. Well, like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. And as always, that's it from me. And from me. We'll see you soon. Thanks.